Lady Louise Windsor on brink of huge decision as she turns 18. Lady Louise Windsor faces a major decision over her future as the young royal celebrates her 18th birthday today. Lady Louise, who is in her final year of school, turns 18 today. The daughter of Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex is now eligible to vote and buy alcohol. But, because she is a member of the royal family, she faces a big decision. She will need to decide whether or not she uses the HRH title that she is entitled to. Her parents decided against giving their children HRH titles from birth, instead preferring them to have as normal a childhood as possible. Louise and her brother James, Viscount of Severn are styled as the children of an earl. Her mum said in an interview with the Sunday Times last year that they wanted to bring Louise and James up with the understanding that they are very likely to have to work for a living. She said, hence we made the decision not to use HRH titles. They have them and can decide to use them from 18, but I think it's highly unlikely. Louise's cousins Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie have kept their titles, and remain working members of the royal family. Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips, also Louise's cousins, do not have titles, as tradition dictates only the father can pass this on, and their father Mark Phillips declined a title on marriage to Princess Anne. Louise, 16th in line to the throne, is studying for her A-levels and Sophie told the newspaper she hopes her daughter will head off to university. She said, she's working hard and will do A-levels. I hope she goes to university. I wouldn't force her, but if she wants to. She's quite clever. Edward studied history at Jesus College, Cambridge, while Sophie did not go to university, instead pursuing a career in public relations. She became a full-time working royal in 2002, three years after her marriage to Edward. Royal expert Howard Hodgson encouraged Louise to take the HRH titles, saying that there is a gap for her to take on royal duties if she wishes owing to the absence of Prince Harry and Prince Andrew. He said, if I was her, I would. He added, she's not going to get any brownie points for not doing it because the Prince of Wales is a really, very nice man who actually also wants to be a good king. Mr. Hodgson explained there is enough work to go around, and Princess Anne will want to take it easy at some point given the enormous amount of royal engagements she does. Louise has established a formidable reputation within the royal family, and paid a heartfelt tribute to Prince Philip in September's BBC documentary Prince Philip, The Royal Family Remembers. She built a close relationship with the Duke of Edinburgh over the years due to their shared love of carriage driving. She is believed to be the Queen's favourite grandchild, and endeared herself to senior royals on a trip to Balmoral in the summer of 2019. She spent time riding horses with Her Majesty, and helped to look after Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge's children, a source told The Sun at the time. Royal expert Phil Dampier told The Mirror earlier this year that there's a strong argument for Louise taking her HRH title. He said, she seems to be very mature for her age, and she's shaping up to be precisely the kind of person the Queen can rely on in the future. Could there be a role for her in a slimmed-down monarchy? The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh had 1,500 patronages between them. You have to ask yourself, who is going to continue their legacy, what with Harry and Meghan and Prince Andrew off the scene? There's a huge workload there. However, royal commentator Marlene Coning told Express.co.uk last month that there is no precedent for Louise choosing to take her titles. She said it is not her decision and it rests in the Queen's hands instead.
is going to continue their legacy, what with Harry and Meghan and Prince Andrew off the scene. There's a huge workload there. However, royal commentator Marlene Koning told Express.co.uk last month that there is no precedent for Louise choosing to take her titles. She said it is not her decision and it rests in the Queen's hands instead.